right, everybody. So um, I was thinking that it might be interesting to try to do a little class on how do you get 45% thermal efficiency or a tier four on the IWA metrics. And it's actually uh, easy to do. So, all right, how to get 45% thermal efficiency. Uh, basically, I would advise you to read this book. So this is a book by Samuel Baldwin, and it's called Biomass Stoves, Engineering Design, Development, and Dissemination. Uh, this book was published in 87, but uh, I rarely run into people who've read it, so you can find it online. And what uh, Sam Baldwin did was, he did a computer program and uh, ended up with some graphs. Here you see that predicting the uh, stove efficiency is actually already described in a graph. So here we have 30%, 40%, 50% efficiency. And on the bottom we have 2 kilowatts, 4 kilowatts, 6 kilowatts, 8 kilowatts. And in the middle is uh, the channel gap. And the channel gap has both a width and a length. So if you have, say, 2 kilowatt fire, a small fire, and here at Operbecho that means four little sticks burning at the same time, and you have a 6 mm gap, then you can get uh, above 45% thermal efficiency. And the length of that gap, um, you know, we usually use 15 centimeters to 20 centimeters, uh, which is no problem because our pot is that high. When you go to 4 kilowatts, you see that the highest efficiency you're going to get is uh, well below 40%. That's because with all of that gas and flame rushing through the channel gap, you have to open up the channel to have uh, that much uh, flow. And so the um, hot gases are no longer as close to the pot therefore you get uh, less efficiency and it just makes sense that when you have uh, too much uh, hot gases uh, four kilowatt worth of gases flowing past the pot the pot becomes a less effective heat exchanger so we're looking at a small fire we're looking at a 6 mm gap and then we're gonna have these tier 4 uh, thermal efficiencies here we have the standard testing pot this is 24 centimeters in diameter and you can see that we have a pot skirt surrounding the pot so it's just a cylinder of sheet metal that is creating a gap of 6 mm all the way around the pot. So we are increasing the heat transfer efficiency by forcing the hot gases to scrape against the side of the pot. And this uh, skirt is adjustable so that you can uh, change the channel gap. And here, as you see, is a 6 mm gap, which is open at the bottom, and then the hot gases flow out the top. Well, you want to know what uh, 2, 2.5 kilowatts looks like? It is, in this stove, four sticks burning at the same time. If I put five sticks in there, that would get us closer to say three kilowatts and that's gonna uh, lower our thermal efficiency and now the famous James is gonna put the uh, pot with the skirt on it on the flame all right James 
thanks, thank you very much. Okay. And so he made sure that the skirt is down, touching the top of the stove, which means that all the gases are now running up, hitting the bottom of the stove, and then going up through that channel gap. Easy to get, 45% thermal efficiency. 2.5 kilowatts of uh, sticks burning and coupled with a 6 mm gap and there you go and Bob's your uncle. Well folks there's actually uh, a third thing that I want to add about how to get 45% thermal efficiency. So first two things about 2.5 kilowatt firepower coupled to a 6 mm gap around the pot and the third thing that's very important is you just can't get to really high thermal efficiencies using heavy materials around the fire. What happens is the fire, the heat from the fire will be soaked up in uh, something that is not insulative. And uh, so there's thermal mass, heavy brick, and then there's insulation, which is a very light brick. And the definition of insulation is little bits of air separated from other little bits of air by a non-conductive material. When we have a fire next to a brick, some of the heat is uh, sucked up by that brick, but what was really bad is in that process, the hot flue gases are cooled and then the delta T, the, the hot gases are no longer hot when they hit the pot and so you just will not get that great heat transfer. So instead of using a heavy material like brick, we are forced to put 50% sawdust or some burnable material in the ceramic so that you get a brick material that is less than one uh, gram per cubic centimeter, hopefully around 0.7 grams per cubic centimeter, so that a magic thing happens and the brick floats in water. So, three things 2.5 kilowatt firepower, the 6 mm gap, and the material around the, um, the fire will float on water and then you can have a 45% thermal efficiency uh, stove.